Hey, what's up? Mindless here from Alvarez Productions, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a cool little menu. So let's check it out right here. Um, pretty cool stuff. Um, we got some video layers going here, we got some text, we got a lot of text. Uh, we got a load bar, a little spinning circle, and a few cubes that are appearing. Um, this is pretty basic, just um, some simple compositing really. But um, it's really fun to know and let's just dive right in. Create a new composition. Go composition, new composition, or control N. 1 to 80 by 720, square pixels, 50 frames a second, and let's just make it 10 seconds long. Press OK. OK, um, first off, we're just going to go scrub through this pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, here we go. Create a new solid. Press Command Y or Control Y if you're on Windows. Um, I would make uh, it half of 1 to 80. So, um, the width should be. Uh, 640 by well let's just make this um, 700 and there we go let's just place this right here turn on the title action save let's make this just a little bit smaller looks pretty good uh, go select layer go to the rectangle tool and double click it what this does is create a mask a rectangle mask as big as it can get. Um, so let's just duplicate this and put the second one to subtract. Open it up and put the mask expansion down to about um, 16 looks good. Let's turn this off. Okay we're just gonna add some text in here so um, this is the main warning thing so let's make this a bit bigger warning this just a bit smaller not too much So, we've got some text going on here, um, let's just place this like so, put the warning a bit more in the center. Um, now we're just going to add some useless text below, so let's just... And just like that we got the the right side of the left side of your composition done. Um, now we're gonna import just a little bit of footage. I've got some clip uh, from my Technicolors multi-editor project. So let's just drag it in. And mask a square out of it. And uh, let's see. What would be... Okay, looking pretty good. Press S and scale it down quite a lot. And turn on the proportional grid. Put it on here, make it 18%. Uh, duplicate this two times and just <clears throat> drag copies of it off to the side. Um, not too far. And there we go. Uh, you can add some color effects to this or whatever. Um, I've done this in my first composition. But uh, there are just some, some uh, let's see here, uh, random effects I dropped in there. Just uh, a curve adjustment, some colorama and the glow for this example. Uh, you can do with it whatever you want. I'm going to just do one and the rest you can figure out on your own. Uh, let's just see here. Um, effects, color correction, colorama. I love colorama. Um, output cycle, put it to 
I love the alpha ramp. Alpha ramp gives it a bit more. Uh, well, I don't know. It's just a bit brighter. Um, color correction. Curves. Turn up the contrast a bit. <clears throat> uh, and let's make it just a bit more red. A lot more red. And down the blue. And you can do this for the other two if you want to, but I'm trying to keep this one short. Okay, next we're going to put a title on top of this. So let's make it bigger again. And this one a bit smaller. Not too small. Okay, just put this right here. Same goes, oops, my bad. Same goes for this one. Okay, um, we got that done. So next we're going to create um, these little titles right here. They kind of blink, and when the arrow stops, they the last one appears. Okay. So let's just do that. Um, error. Um, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> okay, let's just duplicate that. Oh. Three times and just pull copies down. Um, hold shift and press down twice. Then twice again so you get like the same uh, space between the layers oops my bad select them all um, just put them a bit more centered um, and now it's time to change them um, We gotta keep that one like so. And okay. Okay, the the one with the error, we're going to put this on the top. And let's just go press T, set a keyframe for the opacity and just and just pull that forward just a bit. Yeah, I got my window open so um, any tractor or whatever can ruin my tutorials, but okay, put this to zero, <clears throat> select both keyframes, copy them, go forward just a bit and just Control V, go forward. Control V. Control V. And I think we're about done here. Um, and at the last bit, we're just gonna go forward a few keyframes and put this to zero. Then we're gonna go to the uh, the error seems to be fixed. Press T. And just go backward just a bit. Set a keyframe for the opacity and move it forward. And put the opacity to zero. So what what happens here is just yeah, I got a lot of stuff open. So um, I'm just close down this composition for now. I know what we're going to do. So we got a bit more RAM in here. Um, the error seems to be fixed. Yeah, I've been running this this PC for a couple of days now, so... Um, okay, beyond that. We're just gonna make a new solid. Command Y or Control Y on Windows. Make it comp size. Uh, double click the rectangle tool. Scale it down by pressing S and just dragging at this. Um, that 
looks about okay. Put it in the center right here. Oops, don't grab the mask. Ah, dang it. <laughs> this always happens to me. Um, so, pull this one down. Um, press M, duplicate mask, control duplicate, set the second one to subtract, and pull the mask expansion down to about 26 or so. It looks about right. The line is really thin, so we're just gonna, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just gonna go over the top here. Um, yeah, that, that's the main loading bar. And my timer is up. Um, I'll see you at part 2.